gravity's helping you, right? Getting better tool life, better surface finishes. I mean, it's just a win-win. Even with the huge number of uh, machine tool builders here, Darren, the method supply, we're, for cover we're surrounded by Yazda, Nakamura, OKK, Fanuc Robot Drill, Kiwa, loads of fascinating machine tools. Mm -hmm. You still have your own machine range. Now, right. let's start at the beginning. Why did you feel the need to build your own machine range? Yeah, yeah we have a great product lineup at Methods, right? And we have some fantastic 400, 500 millimeter horizontals, right? I mean, we have Kiwis, we have OKKs, we have Yazda, so some fantastic machines. But we really felt that there was a gap in our product lineup, you know, some smaller horizontals. Uh, there's just nothing out there, really. You know, not a lot in that arena. And, and it's quite a surprising thing to decide to build your own machinery. What's the kind of philosophy behind that? Well, I, you know, we can kind of control our own fate, right? So we can spec machines out exactly how we want them spec, built to our standards, our design, just everything from the ground up. And yeah, that you know, that's what Methods has done in the past on some other products and, and processes, we'll say. so. Um, it really wasn't all that new to methods to do something along these lines. Yeah. And, yeah, and this is the end result. It's what I love is you're product. not afraid to take that, that power, into, that engineering, engineering power into your own hands and actually design something yeah. rather than just say, oh, I want 10 of those, 10 of those, 10 of those, we'll try and sell them. And we're done, yeah, no. No, we would much rather be involved in that process and give you know, a builder some, some input. You know, we want this, th this needs to be a little better, or, you know, whatever. So yeah, we absolutely want to be involved and we have that capability with our staff to do that. Absolutely, know, so. it makes sense, I guess, because some of these machine tool builders are halfway around the world. They're not connected to people on the ground making parts 15 miles away. Right, right. No, and this is, yeah, we get a lot of customer feedback and input from the customers, what they're looking for, what they can't find maybe out there. So we can, uh, yeah, you know, build on that, give them the, the you know, the factory, those, that information and, and build a better product. You know? Absolutely. So, so let's imagine yeah. we're, talking, we're talking to a, a Mr. or Mrs. customer 15 miles away. Yeah. You've got your own methods horizontal here, one of many, many in the range, I assume. Yeah. What needs did this feel that you felt the need to design your whole brand new machine? Yeah. So again, we felt there was a gap in the market. So this is a, a very small footprint machine. Okay. Nice, compact footprint. Small working ranges. Again, there's a lot of 400, 500 millimeter horizontals out there. We wanted something smaller than that. There's a lot of medical parts, you know, just a lot of work out there that fits in a 300, 320 millimeter, you know, pallet size machine. And so, I guess the, the, the alternative to that would be a lot of customers will have VMCs that have loads of those in the shop, either commodity items or, or good, strong, rigid VMCs as well. Right. Why shouldn't they just, if they need more capacity, buy another VMC if they know and what they know and love them? Yeah. Uh, great question, and, and this is what you know we're asked and, and you know deal with every day. But uh, I think first and foremost, you know, is good labor, good help is hard to find nowadays. So anything you can do to kind of you know automate a process or get some unmanned runtime is extremely important. So you know taking a part this size from say a VMC, you know, with four vices where you know the operator has got to flip the part four times you're introducing an opportunity for error, right? Human error. Um, whereas this, we can load parts on a you know, tombstone, hit go, and we're gonna get great parts. Let the machine do what it does. And again, so you're getting better quality. While we're running four different sides, our operator can be over running other machines, doing whatever he needs to do, writing other programs. So again, we're getting some unmanned runtime or lightly attended runtime. So Absolutely. very important. Yeah, right? and that fourth axis kind of almost comes with the horizontal for free. It's not an extra option. You get it with standard. Yeah. And there's a lot more you could do with that. It's not just kind of a double-sided tombstone you could do on this side. There's also a three-sided tombstone on that side. And depending on the size of your parts, you could have kind of maybe even a four or a hexagonal. For, for even smaller parts. That's right. So people need to get, I guess, a bit more imaginative when they're looking at machines like this and thinking, oh no, it's too complicated for me. You hit the nail on the head. That's what we hear all the time. Oh, this is way too complicated. I've never programmed a horizontal. It's so hard. It, it's the same, right? You, you know, I mean, you've got three axes and then, yeah, maybe you're just indexing your fourth axis, you know, whatever, 90 degrees. But, you know, your XYZ is the same stuff, right? And again, if you get creative with the fixturing, you can get a lot more parts on here. Again, extending your unmanned runtime and yeah, being more profitable, right? Absolutely. So. And one last point, 
the construction of the machine. Let's dig into behind the covers, behind the fixed stream, behind the work holding. Yeah. The actual the construction of the machine is actually a bit simpler than a VMC as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Horizontals are fantastic, right? I mean, yeah, from the design, you know, it, it starts there, right? Uh, again, this is a very small footprint um, horizontal. Uh, but it's almost 15,000 pounds, right? So 14,500, it's just That's incredible. quite cheap, 15,000 pounds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no, 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 no pounds. That's why <laughs> yeah. pounds weight, no pounds yeah. currency. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong country. So, but uh, yeah, no, very robust machine. Um, yeah, it, it's got a step column, right? You know, your x-axis is on a step column. You know, just a sign you're working with a quality builder, right? There's a lot of advantages to that. Increased rigidity. Um, you know, dropping some weight out of the column, maybe just, you know, there's advantages to And not it. only yeah. would you get um, increased total runtime you could run unattended, but also your cycle times each might be reduced because you exactly. run harder in harder materials, more difficult to cut materials. You get that for free. You don't, might not get that with a standard VMC. Exactly. Amortizing tool changes, right, on a whole lot more parts, right, stuff like that. Um, again, and gravity's helping you, right? Getting better tool life, better surface finishes. I mean, it's just a win-win, so. Fantastic product. Perfect. So for your horizons, if, you, if you're thinking about trying to get more capacity in your machine shop, you're going to go for another standard VMC, maybe change the way you're thinking, go for other methods machine tool horizontal for those smaller components, or much bigger ones in the range, uh, the whole methods machine tool range. Right.